Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I am thrilled to show you the 2020 Newmar Baystar Sport. So this coach is gonna help you and your family have the best vacation. First of all, you're gonna have comfort, quality, at an affordable price. So this is Newmar's entry-level gas coach, but they pack a lot of great things into it, and I'm gonna tell you all about that today. First of all, let's start on the paint. So they use the Masterpiece Full Painted Graphics with clear coat finish, and they also have the Diamond Shield protection across the whole front cap. So that's gonna protect that beautiful paint job. Now this is the Foster exterior color, and you've got two other options to choose her from that comes standard. Another thing that Newmar does that I really love, I think it just looks really nice, is on the windshield, you're gonna see that they encase their windshield just like you would see them do on your cars and your automobiles. It's not a big gasket that fits in there and, and makes it snug, it just looks like it's perfectly fitted for this coach. So that's really nice. We also have the convex exterior mirrors. Those are defrost and remote controlled from inside the coach, which is really nice. And then coming standard on this entry level gas coach is the side cameras. So you're gonna have those on both sides of the coach. When you turn your uh, signals on left or right, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the coach. The Baystar Sport sits on the Ford F 53 chassis and it has the Ford V10 gas engine. The Baystar Sport has the Goodyear 245 tires. Now something that I really want you to go and do is watch my video on Retroband. This could be a life-saving device in the event of a front end blowout. Basically, it's a spare within your tire. I explain all about Retroband and I also have a video that talks about how it's installed. So go check that out. The Baystar Sport comes standard with hydraulic leveling jacks. The first compartment on the driver's side of the coach is the compartment for the LP tank. This is the 25 gallon LP tank. And then note also on the doors, we have two level struts this year for the Baystar Sport, which is really nice. This is where we have our four house batteries and you can easily just remove the pins and that's going to pull out so they're easy to serve. These are our GC2 Deep Cycle Extreme Batteries. Behind our third compartment we have a storage area. Now note that all the storage areas are lighted. That's really nice and then this area here in conjunction with your low point drains is going to be where you winterize and de-winterize your coach if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers where you're always plugged in and you don't need to worry about winterizing your coach. Here we have our wet bay. So on this side, we're gonna have our low point drains that I just talked about. This is going to be our gravity dump for our black tank. And then this is our gray tank. So your gray tank is 60 gallons, your black tank is 40 gallons, and your freshwater tank is 75 gallons. These are the sensors for the gray tank. Here we have our city water fill and our black tank rinse. Now these aren't labeled, we're gonna make sure we label these before delivery, but you can look in the back and you can see that one is like a hose, that's where your city water fill is, and this is where your black tank rinse is, which has kind of a clear tubing, and I'll show you that on the other side. Also note that we, this cabinet is lit. We have marker lights on the side of the Baystar Sport, and then we have the dual pane tinted frameless windows. Now that's an option for the Baystar Sport. They come standard with the single pane tinted windows. We always opt for the double pane. Here's the vent for the furnace for the uh, Dometic hot water heater. So you can just open that up and then you've got all your instructions, pilot instructions, and electronic ignition operation instructions. We have a nice storage compartment here. Again, we've got the two stage struts, which are really handy. 
And then we've got the lit compartment. We have our 80 gallon fuel fill right here. And then another big storage compartment. And this is where you'll put your 30 amp shore power cord. Here at the rear of the coach, we've got the optional ladder. National and RV centers, we always opt that in when we can have it. And then we have our rear view camera, which comes standard. We have a window in this unit, which is really nice. If you're backed up to a lake, you're gonna be able to see that. That's nice and beautiful. And then we have our 5,000 pound hitch. You're gonna be able to easily tow your Jeep Grand Cherokee or your two Sea-Doo's or whatever extra toys you're gonna to wanna to bring along with you on your vacation. Behind this door, we have the largest storage compartment that we have on the exterior of the coach. So it's nice and deep, and you can actually put a couple things uh, over the top that are longer, so that's really nice, and again, it's lit as well. Here is our Onan 4000 generator and we have our generator exhaust there as well. Marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Okay, there's a couple of things I want you to see in this compartment. You've got storage here, but you can also see right here, here's the clear valve that I tried to show you in the wet bay on the other side of the coach. This is your black tank rinse. So that's gonna come here, go into your black tank, which is right here, and then on the side here, it's hard to see, but you've got your black tank sensors. And then over here, you can see the out, um, the tubing for, the, for your gravity dump that comes out of the black tank there. Those are the control modules for your two slide rooms. We have our coax tank cable here and two 110 outlets. This is our vent for our Norcold refrigerator and you're just gonna turn these and then you can pop that right out. Now, it gets really hot in here. So, little tip, this is gonna uh, really make your refrigerator more efficient and keep it cooler. So, you can install another 110 outlet here and then just go to Home Depot or wherever, buy a little, just a fan, screw that down here. A fan will blow that air out Keep it cooler back here and your refrigerator freezer is gonna keep your ice cream nice and hard and everything really cold in your refrigerator. Helpful hint for Mange. A little more storage here. And we also, you can see that behind this panel here, over to the side you can see it, this is our 75 gallon fresh water tank. One of our smaller compartments here, but it is very important. Right here we have our 2000 pure sign inverter. Now, you have an option on this coach. It comes with a 1200 watt inverter, or you can option for the 2000 watt inverter, which we think is much superior, and I'll tell you why. So new for 2020, you can now get the pure sign inverter. This is super important. Before that, you had a modified inverter. Modified inverter has a square wave, and we all know the alternating current has a curve to it. So the pure sign inverter follows that curve exactly and your appliances are going to work perfectly. With the modified inverter, that square wave, it would cause your microwave, microwave convection oven to not work optimally and your clocks may gain or lose time. With the pure sign inverter, your appliances are gonna work just like they're plugged into the 110 outlet at home. They're basically gonna function perfectly like you're used to them working. We have a powered step here, so when you go in and out of the coach, your step is gonna come in and out. You can also stop that, because you don't want that to keep going in and out once you're camping. Then we've got the little stopper here, so we can hold our door open. Simply put that in there and that's gonna keep your door open. Then we have our optional flag pole holder here. So if you want, you've got a family flag, you want the American flag, you wanna put it up here, you can do that right there. And we have the carefree awnings. They have LED lighting this year, which we're so excited about. It gives you a great ambiance when you're sitting outside enjoying the outdoors at your campsite. Another new feature that they've added to the 2020 Baystar Sport is rain gutters on both sides of the coach. All right, we have lots of things to talk about here under the front hood. So right here we have our uh, 
fluid for our hydraulic leveling system, and this is the manifold for the hydraulic leveling system with the pump that goes into each of those. And we have our windshield wiper fluid. Then we have our power steering fluid, master cylinder for the brake. Here's our dipstick for our oil. This is our engine air filter. Then we have our transmission oil cooler here. That's the front panel. Next panel back is our AC condenser for our front dash air. And behind that is the radiator for the engine. We have our two supplemental house batteries here. So that gives us a total of six batteries for the coach, house batteries. We have our transmission fluid dipstick here and our oil fill is right here. This is the coolant for the uh, engine and we have the fill up top and our engine battery right there. Right when you walk into the coach, we've got this cabinet here that has a lot of important controls. So first of all, you might be used to seeing a button for your battery disconnect. This has a little handle here, the red handle. You just turn that back and forth to turn your battery disconnect on and off. So obviously if you want power to the coach, you need to make sure that's on when you come in. Then we've got our display monitor here for our tank level. So it's gonna show us our freshwater tank, black and gray tank levels and our LP tank. Here's our Xantrex control panel. So here we can turn our inverter on or off. We can also get a reading of what's happening right now. So our batteries are at 14. Um, volts so they're fully charged so right now we're in bypass mode because we're plugged in and we're not in need of a charge so on this coach you have a con converter and an inverter so right now we're plugged into shore power when you're plugged into shore power that power is going to come in and you're going to convert it from AC to DC and then the converter will charge your batteries as needed if you are using your inverter you're going to invert power from DC to AC and then it will pass power through if it's not needed. Here is our carefree awning control. So, so you don't have a bond moment like I did earlier today <laughs> and I didn't think the awnings were working. Make sure you turn that on and then you can retract or extend your awnings. Here is the awning light. So it's great that we have the LED lights now on the awning. So you just turn those on right here. Our water pump switch is right here and then our step control. So once we're in the campground, we want that step to just stay extended. We're gonna hit this button here. So this whole panel here has to do with your hot water heater. You're gonna see the little lightning bolt, that's for your electric heating element, and then the flame is for your gas um, heating element. So you've got, as I mentioned before, you've got a six gallon um, hot water tank and your electric element trying to heat all that water and it's very inefficient, very slow. The gas is your gas heater and that's gonna be much better to heat that water for you, so more efficient. And this middle button here will only light up if the gas um, fails to light. Then we've got our slide out control, in and out. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that the interior is my favorite part. I hope you think this is a gorgeous coach because I got to pick it. Um, now this is the Foster interior. I really like this because it's pretty neutral so you can add your own personality to the coach. We added a pop of blue um, just to brighten things up, but that's what I like about it. It's not going to really date the coach. So this is going to be a gorgeous coach for a lot of years. So Foster interior with the Calypso Maple Glaze cabinets. Then just to walk you around, this is the 2813 floor plan. So it's gonna sleep six people. We've got two here on the fold and tumble sofa, two on the booth, and I'll demonstrate how both of these beds work. And then we've got two in the king bed. The king bed is optional for this floor plan. It comes with a queen bed standard. We put in the king bed just to give you a little bit more sleeping space. So also you're gonna have three seat belts here and one seat belt here. The backward facing booth is not recommended to have someone sitting in there while you're going down the road. So that's why they don't put a seat belt in there. So we also have the vinyl touch ceilings, LED lighting throughout the coach and the beautiful vinyl floor beneath us here. So we have our light switches here and our televator up and down so we just push this. One of the new features for 2020 is they've gone from Vizio 
TVs to Samsung TVs. So here in the living room, we have a 50 inch LED Samsung TV. What I like about this floor plan is you've got perfect viewing for your TV. So you can sit here, TV straight across from you. You're not, you know, turning your head to the left or to the right. It's directly across from you. So that's a nice feature of this floor plan. Then we've got the 110 outlet, one there, one here, so you can charge devices. And then we've got the nice blinds that easily just pull up. Our windows open so you can get cross ventilation in the coach. If it's a beautiful day outside and you want to get some fresh air, feel free to open those windows. The windows are crossed from it. You get tons of storage inside this coach. So you can see all of these cabinets, nice, deep, very um, quite high and deep storage there for you. And then we have our jackknife sofa. So it's super easy to do. There's just a little lever here around between the center and this cushion. Just pull that to the right, flattens out so that easily makes into a bed here. And on this side, this is how you make the bed. It's super easy. Now I like to just lift the cushions up a little bit so that I don't have to take them all the way out. I just lift them over the edge of the table there. Then you just fold the lever back and just gently push it down. And go down those cushions are going to fall into place and then you just bring in your extra cushion kind of wedge that in there there you go super easy so in 2020 they've added drawers underneath the booth so it's much easier to get to our storage and then their soft clothes and almost all of the drawers in the base star sport are soft clothes yeah, soft clothes in an entry-level gas coach. Pretty cool, huh? Here by the dinette booth, we have the dinette light and the accent light. And we have two 110 outlets, and this is our GFCI protected outlet. And then to the other side of the booth, we have another light switch. Here in the kitchen, we have the air vent, so you can air out the kitchen as you're cooking. And we also have another one in the bathroom. Along the ceiling here, we have the ducted air vents. And then the return here. Now this is really nice because you can just merely pull that out. Super easy. Change your, wash off your filter, stick it back on. And it goes right back up. So that's really nice and easy. We also have our smoke detector here. And we also have the crank over the air antenna. Here's the thermistor for the coach. So that's gonna to communicate to the thermostat the temperature inside the coach. So here in the kitchen, we have lots of storage. First little compartment here. And then we have a nice size Whirlpool microwave. So that's the same size as the microwave that I have in my home, nice residential size. You're probably wondering where you're gonna plug in your coffee pot or your blender. So we have 110 outlet right here underneath the cabinet so you can easily have your coffee pot sitting here. Then we have nice full extension drawers with ball bearing pull outs so they're nice and smooth. And then like I said, soft close. We have our three burner cooktop. This is our gas stove and we have an oven for those of the, you that like baking cookies like I do. Huge drawer here underneath the oven. So you can put a lot of your pots and pans in there. Really nice storage. And one thing I love that Numar always does, even if it's a small compartment, they'll give you access to it. So it's not a big drawer there, but I can find something to go in there, I am sure. Then we're gonna have our two big cabinets here. And then we have the beautiful Corian cooktop here and nice big sink with sink covers. So if you need to hide those dirty dishes in one side, you can do that. <laughs> but stainless steel sink with a beautiful residential faucet. And then look at the storage that I've got below the sink here. Tons of space. And guess what? They actually have given us a spot for our sink covers. So that little space I was telling you about, guess what fits perfectly in there? And slide those sink covers in. When you're not using it, get them out of the way and they're gone. 
Newmar has also given us a new 2020 backsplash for the Bay Star Sport. So it's really beautiful, very residential feel. Above the kitchen sink, we have our ceiling switch, our decorative light switch, another ceiling switch, and our fan on and off. Again, LED lights, and then another 110 outlet. Newmar's also given us a little extra counter space in this floor plan. So you can simply just pull that up and you've got some extra surface area to work on when you're prepping for your meal. Now we have the 10 cubic foot uh, Norcold refrigerator. The eight is what comes standard. We went ahead and went with the 10. So we have a little bit more space and we've got the freezer with the ice maker. We added that as well. So that feels really nice. Um, and then a nice big refrigerator, drink holder, vegetable and fruit holder at the bottom. Very nice refrigerator for the base star sport. Here is our pantry. It's nice and deep. You're gonna be able to get a lot of food in there. And then next to it, we have, you can use this either for pantry or you can use this for wardrobe area. So we've got a hanger in there if you wanna hang clothes with adjustable shelves. So for this 28 foot 11 inch coach, you really have a nice size master bathroom or main bath. So we have two medicine cabinets behind our mirrored cabinets. We have a nice solid surface countertop with a stainless steel sink, a beautiful residential faucet and more storage below the sink. We also have a 110 outlet with a GFCI protected outlet. We have our ceiling vanity and fan lights. So again, I talked about the fan. We can turn the fan on here. You'll manually open that. More storage here above the commode. We have a window. We can also open the blinds and open that window. Our Dometic toilet. And then we have a really nice size shower. So fully turn around. I'm not going to hit the walls. I've got a skylight here for those people that are taller. You can easily use that. And then a, a handheld faucet that you can hook up here or you can just hold it with your hand. So that's really nice. So here we are in the master bedroom. So again, you'll see that we have the great big king size bed. This comes standard with the queen, but we opted for the king. We've got the slide out control and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. We also have our light buttons here. I wanted to make sure that you noticed that there was a pocket door in between the living room, kitchen of the coach and the bedroom. So you can have full privacy back in the bedroom. And then underneath the cabinet, we've got two switches. So each person will have their individual light. They can turn on and off. And then we've got storage above the bed here. Now something new that Newmar added this year that I think was great, great, great is they've given you a 110 outlet above in that cabinet and there's a hole back where you can drop down a cord. Basically they did this for a lot of people have CPAP machines. So this is one of the options. You can option this in. This gives you the second inverter. When you go to two inverters, you're going to get the 2000 watt pure sign inverter like I just explained outside. And you have a nightstand on each side of the bed and storage below that. And then on the bed base, you're gonna have a 110 outlet on each side. Then we've got a nice big full length mirror here and another huge closet basically. You've got a hanging bar here and then you've got drawers below, full extension. And then we've got another nice storage compartment here for those people that are tall and can see what they're putting up there. <laughs> and we've got an outlet way in the back. Here we have our 32 inch Samsung TV and that's on an arm so you can pull that out and direct it to where it's best for your viewing. I also love in the Baystar Sport that not only do you have the window behind head of the bed, but we also have this rear window here. Um, Cause I can't tell you how many times you're end up camping and the coach is backed up to this beautiful lake and beautiful scene and you can't see it from the bedroom. So I really like that you have that there. And then down below here, you've got a nice little cabinet with some extra storage. We'll take all the storage we can get, right? Now, before you call National Indoor RV Centers in a panic because your bedroom slide won't come in, 
I'm going to tell you a little trick. So if I push the, the button here to bring that in right now, nothing happens. This mattress actually folds and there's a sensor. So when I fold it in half, that mattress is actually going to fold down right on top of itself. You're going to have to make sure your pillows are out of the way. And then that is going to fold down. Once that's fully down, the sensor will let it let the slide know that it's safe to come in. So now I can bring my slide in. I also want you to note while I've got it like this at your storage here underneath the bed. Now I can push the button and bring that slide on in. So now with the bedroom slide in and I've also pulled in the living room slide, I wanted to show you how much room you have in this coach. Before I walk through the aisle here, I wanna let you know that you can obviously easily get into your bathroom into your pantries, obviously your refrigerator. You can be making dinner while you go down the road, but there is plenty of room for you to easily walk through this coach with the slides in. All right, inside this cabinet, we've got our Wi-Fi Ranger SkyPro LTE. So that's this white box. That's basically what you can do is you can add a line to your cell phone plan and you can make your coach a hotspot, just like you would at your home, have a hotspot. Here's the matrix box for your front and rear TV. So you can designate if you're gonna be watch, using the DVD, if you're gonna be using the antenna, if you're doing the cable, that's right up there. Then we've got our CD, DVD player here. Nice storage below. And then we have our two breaker boxes here and our fuse panel. We've got a nice map here to the side that tells us what all those fuses are for. And then one of the things that Numar does that I love, they give you spare fuses and they're right back there behind there. So they're not rattling around in a plastic bag, making noise in your coach or in a drawer that you can't find. They're right where you need them. Big storage compartment here, two shelves there and just a lot of nice space above the passenger chair. So here's the Dometic thermostat for your AC and for your furnace. So you just simply turn it on and off here. You have your zone, your mode, your fan, your clock, and you can program it. So I've turned both the captain and co-captain's chairs around so that you, you can see that they add to your living room space once you're camping. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Nine people can comfortably sit in this coach when you're camping. Now, there's one more feature that I wanna show you that's pretty cool. First of all, you just think this is the console here. You've got your two cup holders, a little space for your keys or whatnot, but this also seconds as a table. So there's a lever just below here that you're gonna push and pull that forward. And then you're just going to pull that up you can have it like this. Again, it will hold your drinks if you wanna do that or flip it open. And you've got another surface where you can have dinner, workstation, whatever you wanna use it for. Here in the co-captain seat, I'm super comfortable. All the furniture is made by Flexsteel in the Baystar Sport. And then another great feature that they have up here for the co-captain, I've got a nice drink holder here. And then I just flip this open and I can pull out my own little workstation or eating spot. I really like that kind of works just like they do in some of the old airplanes, but this is a really nice surface to work on or just have up as I'm going down the road. So to my right, I've got my map light button so I can turn that map light that's above me on and off. I've got two 110 outlets and then I have the RV gas detector so that if I have a LP leak, that would send an alarm. And just behind that, we have the fire e extinguisher. So hopefully we never need that, but they do have that nice and handy for us right by the front door. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to do the equalizer system or our power jacks. Remember, we always want to have our slides out, jacks down. When we go to leave our campsite, jacks up, slides in. So to start this, I'm going to turn the coach to the on position or accessory mode. I'm also going to engage the park brake and I'm gonna hit the power button 
and I'm gonna go to auto level. You can hear the jacks going down now, and you can see that it's operating. So now it has stopped beeping. It's showing that it's level. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the ignition and we're all set and now I can just hit the power button here. Special note about the leveling jacks. So say you go into a campground, you try to level, you put the jacks down, it says excessive slope, you move the coach a little bit, try again, so you cycle the jacks another time. So you've done it the first time, you got excessive slope, you did it the second time, it didn't work. Now you're gonna move to a new campground because you're not able to level your coach or you're trying to level it manually. Basically, you don't want to do more than two cycles at one time with your lever injects because you could burn up the pump. So if you do need to cycle it more than twice, go ahead and wait 20 minutes in between doing it that third time. So we are done camping. We're ready to leave. So I want to retract my jacks. You can put it again into accessory mode or turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and put it to accessory mode just so I don't accidentally turn the coach all the way on and stop the whole process. So accessory mode, and I'm gonna hit retract all, and you can hear those jacks coming up. We have a great cup holder for the driver here. We have two USB outlets. Then we've got our battery boost button. This is super important. So if we come to our coach and we can't get it started, it's dead, we're gonna to wanna to push this, hold it down. We'd like to try to start our generator, get our generator started so it can start to charge the battery so that we can start our engine. So then we can start our generator here. This is the button for our overhead fans. And we've got a low and a high setting. This is for our lights. So we have our parking lights and our headlights. And then this is the driver's map light. So you just roll that with your finger, roll it up to turn it on. This is the defrost button for our exterior mirrors. And this is the remote control for our exterior mirrors. Here's our information panel and you just have to have the coach on the on, but you don't have to have the ignition all the way on, but you can see the info it's gonna give you. The temperature outside miles to empty 476 miles to empty engine hours and then our trip now if we want to use the setup menu we can change some of that information there so you can change your settings and then if you want to go to reset that's going to reset your trip back to zero so right below our usb outlet we've got the pull bar here the t-bar that will release the hood on the front of the cap. Then we've got our emergency brake here. So pull that to release it. And then we have our brake pedal. When I push that, you kind of hear a growling sound. That's our power brake booster. And that's gonna give us more power in our braking system. It's engaging that. And then obviously we have our gas pedal. All right, on the steering column, we have the lever to adjust the steering column up or steering column up or down. Then we've got our windshield wiper control here. We can control the speed and then our washer. Obviously the steering wheel. This is where we turn our cruise control on and off. This is where we set it, resume, and then we've got our <laughs> horn. <laughs> here we have our tow haul, and this is obviously our we'll set our gears, we'll take us into reverse neutral drive and then here it says tow haul and we push that to engage that so the tow haul button will change the shift patterns for better towing basically keeps the coach from going into overdrive it changes the rpms at which the coach shifts gears overall it makes the coach more efficient when towing a vehicle here we have our six inch monitor which displays our rear camera it will also, it's also the monitor that's going to display the side cameras when I put on my blinker left or right. 
So you have a menu button here. You can change the brightness, contrast, color, tint, etc. And then you can move those up or down. You can also go to night mode or day mode. You can't really tell the difference right now. And then there is also audio. So if I have someone back there directing me into the camping spot, I can hear them talk to me. So I can turn that up or down from here. Then we have our shade button. So this is just going to bring our nightshade up or down. Here's our control panel. So just go to menu and go from radio to DVD to XM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, our Rand McNally. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. We can choose our destination or go back, go to our maps, setup. So we can customize our settings there and then we can plug in our USB or auxiliary here. Then we have our AC and heat controls here. So turn on our fan speed, cool to hot, and then the area that we want to cool. Obviously our cup holders. And then I demonstrated how this became a table as well. All right, I'm sure you're excited to see how nicely this Base Star Sport drives. So let's go ahead and take it for a ride. I've adjusted my seat. This does have a power seat, so that's really nice and handy. Got that right in the right place. I'm just gonna go ahead and start her on up. So with the gas coach, it's the same as driving your car. Um, just a little bit longer, a little bit wider and taller. Um, the Base Star Sport is 12 feet, four inches tall. Now you're gonna have a little bit more noise when you're driving a gas coach because unlike the diesel coaches where they're called diesel pushers for the reason, the engine's in the back and a gas coach, your engine's up front. So as we get on the highway, you'll get to see what that sounds like, but I'm still talking a re regular level, could be having a conversation with the passenger, no problem. So you just have to watch your side cameras and make sure that you're giving yourself enough room so that you don't take out the curb, but it's really not too difficult. So it's a nice hot Texas day. Um, I would have my dash AC. Also, I can run my generator and run the AC through the rest of the coach if I've got passengers in the back of the coach. And I also have two overhead fans up above me so that if it gets a little warm, I can turn those on and keep me cool up here. Okay, another purpose for the overhead fans, I talked about how you use them obviously on a hot day, but they'll also help you on a cold day. So you know how your windshield can get fogged up when you're trying to defrost, defrost it, keep it warm on the inside and it's cold outside. So you can turn those two fans around and they'll help keep the fog off of your windshield and keep your view unobscured. So just so you know, I'm going about 55 miles an hour. This um, the base of our sport does come with cruise control. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then I'm going to set it for, let's set it for 60 miles per hour. So that's gonna make this really easy to drive. I don't know how many of you have driven cross country. When you don't have cruise control, I just did it. Um, this is really nice. You're not gonna enjoy, uh, annoy the riders around you and it really just kind of makes it a no-brainer and you're able just to enjoy the beautiful countryside as you're driving versus watching your uh, odometer all the time or speedometer. <laughs> One of the things that I love about RVing is just that it's a great way to see the countryside obviously. We have a lot of younger uh, customers coming into the lifestyle. They realize they can work from the road and so they would much rather live in this beautiful coach, see the country and not go to an office every day or have their office, you know, be in a different city every day if they want to or every week. So it just gives you lots of options. The Bay Star Sport really gives you an opportunity to um, vacation in an RV at an affordable price. It is again, Numar's entry level gas product. So it's very affordable. Come and see us at National Indoor RV Centers to see if we can find the perfect coach for your needs and your, your, your lifestyle.
I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of Numar's 2020 Baystar Sport. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much it would cost you to get into this beautiful coach. I told you it was had quality, comfort, and was super affordable. So the manufacturer lets us state MSRP, Manufactured Suggested Retail Price, or MAP pricing, which is minimum advertised pricing set by the manufacturer, which is $139,599. Now, if you wanna find out what I can sell you this coach for, please give me a call at 469-277-1120, or you can go to our website, nirvc.com. Now, if you've enjoyed this walkthrough and you wanna make sure you don't miss any future videos that I do, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope you have a great day.